What's up guys, hey, uh, new day, time for out of show, waiting for my Uber, and it's a beautiful day still, no rain, a little bit cloudy, there's some sun rising, and beautiful, uh, can't wait for the show, uh, excited. Bonjour. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I uh, have a little mic here for uh, you to hear me better than the when the cam camera is far off. Uh, this is just a test uh, to see. I'm gonna listen to the audio. Um, here on the Audi stand, this is the new uh, e-tron uh, coupe limousine and or sedan, and there's a new uh, camo e-tron. Q4 Coupe, and there is actually one that looks like a concept car over there. Um, I'm gonna try making at least the orange one, like a review, uh, if I get a chance, because there's so many journalists here. Hey guys, so here is the Rimac Concept 2. Uh, this is the new, almost finished model, which is supposed to finish next year. Hey guys, so I'm on the Škoda stand, and there's a new Scala right there. The green car is the comic, so it's gonna be separated in the video. And here is next to me Kodiak RS and Karak Sport Line. And something more interesting that I wanna show you guys. So, this is the new Škoda concept car, and it looks amazing as a concept car. Uh, on the pictures, it's kinda of weird now when I'm seeing it first time in person, but I'm gonna reveal it to you. This is Škoda concept car, kind of looks like maybe a little baby Urus, but it's not, you know, it's just the color combination, the size kind of reminds me of it. Uh, the front's kind of weird, um, but it looks kind of strong, and uh, there's this concept with uh, reverse opening doors on the back, which is weird, um, but this is just a concept car, I don't think it's gonna see the future. I wish you can see the other side, um, see the back does kind of look like Škoda and maybe reminding me of the Urus. Um, I'm not comparing two brands, I'm just you know saying it. They look similar in this concept. And this is interesting, uh, Škoda leathers that are uh, lighten up. I wanted just to you guys to see this side of the car when the doors are closed. I like this. Uh, no B pillars. This is just the concept, but it looks so nice and I like this side and if I turn over there you can see how it looks uh, not to wait too long for the car to move hey guys so welcome to a Volkswagen stand and behind me is the new T-Rock R-Line which is fabulous this car is this car is top seller the T-Rock and now there's an R-Line 300 horsepower it's insane uh, there's obviously other R lines and R badges uh, and sport lines and whatever uh, Volkswagen cars. There is the new 
GTI Volkswagen Passat. Um, there's an interesting story. Volkswagen doesn't believe in batteries. They think it's a trend. I mean, the Volkswagen, uh, excuse me, not just the Volkswagen, the whole German car industry. That's at least what I hear. Um, it's not a rumor. I got that as a first hand from one of the dealers in Croatia. Uh, but, you know, I believe that's going to change. Uh, of course, we have a buggy ID, and this is Volkswagen saying this is a fully electric car we want to deliver, and it's uh, our chance to show that we can make something better. Of course, when it comes to electric cars, um, Volkswagen, you know, had that all problem with uh, affairs, and they've uh, paid that price with the money that was supposed to be invested in batteries, and now it's paid off uh, they didn't lo really lose a lot of market so they said okay now we're gonna turn to electric cars so now you have the e-golf uh, I heard there's something new about the electric cars they're preparing the new Volkswagen Golf uh, this is gonna be probably the 8 series it's gonna be better I wanted to show you the R-Line variant uh, looks really good actually excuse me not R-Line R badge this is just the R um, it's just the package, but it looks really nice in this great, great color. And of course, there is the new facelift Passat. Um, it's just a facelift, it's nothing major, but I want to show it to you. This is the facelift Passat. Um, there's a new interior. Um, I think the new interior is a lot of, has a lot of plastic, it's going to scratch. Uh, but I like the uh, R badge as less of that scratching and just to show you uh, the back the new IQ uh, matrix LED lights uh, new uh, redesigned bumper and of course there is the electric version the GTI actually it's a hybrid I, I'm completely confused with this cars uh, it looks better I like this C uh, let me try focusing on it now I'm in dark. Uh, it has a um, better looks. Okay, I'm gonna move on to other stands. Hey guys, so as you can see behind me, there's a lot of area to cover, so I cannot cover everything. I'm going to, you know, just try focusing on the cars that are actually affordable. There's gonna be maybe a few cars in this vlog that are uh, super expensive, but I'm gonna turn the camera just so you can see the looks. This uh, hauls are uh, freaking huge. Hey guys, so I'm at Toyota and there is the new Supra. 
and it's really hard making videos with so many people here around. So you can see one of the familiar faces here, it's Shmi, uh, one of the largest YouTube channels. And even he's having difficulties making videos because there's so many people around here. You can see how many people are if I move around. So it's uh, madness here and I'm trying to end the vlog, I'm trying to cover all of the stands, but it's impossible. Okay guys, I'm at the Ferrari stand and this is the new F Tributo. Looks really elegant. And sportish, I believe the red one's the same model. Might be wrong. To so many people, I'm not even going to attempt getting in. Just gonna wait for it to move around. Look at that front. I would say it looks amazing, but it's so many people that to film here, it's impossible. So it's end, it's the last hour. Uh, the people are dispersing a little bit and it's easy to film. So I hope you can hear me well. Um, I'm in Geneva and auto show and I've, I think it's a good success because I've managed to film all the cars I wanted. Uh, the uh, show's amazing and it's huge. It's one of the biggest in Europe. I saw a lot of new cars. I saw Mate Rimac. Uh, I didn't film him. Uh, I also saw Shmi. You can see him in the vlog. Uh, he was working, so I didn't want to interrupt him. But um, there's a lot of cars and most of them are going to be in a separated views. So uh, check those out if you're interested in them. I want to thank you all for watching my car reviews, for commenting. Uh, sharing in the videos and liking them really helps a lot on every video and without you guys this wouldn't be possible without my YouTube audience and without my little of the Instagram followers I have also if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to do there's a link on the channel and <laughs> I'm talking too much so my throat is like drying I've, I've been drinking water and I had like one sandwich because the prices are here insane compared to Croatia so I need to get some water but overall Geneva was a nice experience the first day it was complete madness and it was completely packed uh, today there was less people but also a lot of them so even Shmi had problem making videos you know so um, I apologize if I'm not watching through the camera I'm watching through the screen kind of trying to be in the frame um, and yeah so it was hectic I'm not sure do I want to come next year maybe I will but it was definitely uh, exhausting I'm here from 7 30 in the morning and it's almost it's past five o'clock it's closing in six o'clock so I was here all day I had a good breakfast and then I bought a sandwich here, which was seven francs, which is like 50 kunas, which is a lot for a sandwich. In Croatia, you can buy it for like 10, 10 20 kunas, you know, but this is like uh, almost double, more than double of the price. But that's all behind us because all the revenue, all the money I make, I really invest in this channel, this microphone, this camera I'm filming with, all the revenue is financing this uh, gadgets for you to have better video, audio, and you know my life expenses and trips but yeah that's it hopefully one day one day this channel will grow and i'll be able to buy a, maybe a sports car uh i really don't know which car would i buy or which was a dream car but definitely i would love to have a sports car before this uh gasoline cars uh become the thing of the past because electric cars are definitely the future and i love the new polestar it serves as tesla stealer that's a new word Tesla stealers so it's not killing Tesla cars but it's stealing them because they're gonna be better cars in the future um, I mean considering the design a Tesla is still way ahead uh, in the battery and the electric motor industry but the rest uh, 
they are falling behind, you know. The design of the exterior is great, but in the side it's too minimalistic. Maybe in the future they're gonna change that. Uh, my arm is getting really tired, so thank you guys once again for watching my videos, for all the support. Uh, without you, this wouldn't be possible. So, big smile from Geneva. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And thank you, really thank you a lot for watching. You're gonna see you in the next video, possibly in the next car show, maybe in Geneva, maybe. I hope I can go to the US uh, one day. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Olive Vlog. I love his videos, I like to meet him. Uh, I'm gonna try sharing some context. I've been talking to him on Instagram. Uh, here and there and hopefully uh, this channel will grow it's growing uh, it's even growing exponentially faster from every auto show on Vienna uh, two months ago had generated one and a half million views more than that so it's really impressive uh, hopefully Geneva is going to be same success so guys thank you I'm gonna see you in the next video always stay safe on the road bye